What's up, boys? It's the Nostalgic Gaming Channel back at it again with some Legend of Alandar content. If you guys were with us, you guys found out that we just ended up in Gomira over here, which is the Tagani city, which the changelings or Orin have overran and destroyed the majority of it. So they're not very happy with us specifically. Uh, we also found out that these palm trees uh, can be used to make very powerful palm nut potions if they have palm nuts. So uh, I'm trying to grab as many as I can. I see like three here. So I'm just going to walk back and grab it. We must go the other way deeper. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. That it wouldn't let me go backwards. Uh, but let's go talk to the alchemist. Change these into palm nut, powerful palm nut potions. Try and restock on some potions. And then we're going forward to those very dangerous trees. And I warn you, the trees are extremely dangerous. So hopefully you have some kind of uh, axe instrument or axe weapon like we grabbed from that... Uh, weapons rack because that's going to be the most effective way to cut down these trees but they're very tough in combination with the poison monsters like you're gonna have a bad time if you don't but thanks for tuning in again hopefully uh you guys have, ooh, no more potions in here well if you guys have been keeping up with the uh with the series hopefully you guys check out some of the other series that i have upcoming too let's see what he's got here what kind of potions I don't think I need how much poison resistance last for? Twenty. I don't know if that's twenty battles or twenty fights. I'm gonna buy some more potions. Just so that we're not super out. Let's see what our stock is like. Okay. I'm pretty happy with the stock that we have right now. But I'm gonna buy a couple. I'm going to sell some of my spike potions. Because I don't think I need that many. Alright. That'll leave us open for some more. If we find more of those palm trees, we're going to get some more of those palm uh, seeds. That'll leave us plenty of them, right? But as you can see, now we're joined with Tahir. He's uh, bound by a blood curse to follow us and find the person that killed his brother, his twin. So we're going to help him destroy either the changelings or Lord Grindar, whoever attacked his village. Oh, there's a tree frog. I almost missed it. Glad that I saw it there at the last second. But this is the way forward to the dangerous man-eating trees. And like if you guys checked in for the last video where we were uh, running through the water, we got some very lucky drops inside the water. So I'm going to keep looking around here in the water and make sure that we're not missing any hidden items. I found a pretty good uh, hide. I found a pretty good, um, pretty good items, gold, uh, potions. So it's real nice. I think I found two. Oh, it's a spirit. What is it, Tahir? A warning? No, a reminder. It is customary before embarking on a long or dangerous journey for a Dagani to consult the Oracle at the pedestal of fate. This Oracle, does it speak only to Dagani? Aye, it lies deep within Dagon. We must go by raft, but I must bring it a heart before it will speak to me. A heart? No need to fear for your heart. The Oracle only wants the heart of flesh-eating trees that roam the swamps in search of victims. Whatever the tree can digest is stored in its heart. Many a fine trinket or piece of gold has been found that way. An unpleasant way to earn a trinket. Have you no heart for combat? I will have the tree's heart for us. Let us go. <laughs> hey, that was real uh, Giga Chad there. I will have the tree's heart. Hey, who let Alandar or Jarek cook? Am I right? What a guy. He's risen it up here with his boy, his wingman, to here. Let's explore into this man eating swamp. I may be so bold to ask. I'm intrigued by your tendrils. I've heard that Dagani tendrils have many uses. Would you tell me more? 
Tell an Orden, I do not usually give such knowledge to an enemy. I say again, I'm not your enemy, but if we are to fight side by side, it would be not nice to know each other's abilities very well. They allow me to breathe underwater and they filter out toxic gases in the swamp. This is all Dagani can do, but I've been given special training. It allows him to draw power of the weird using his tendrils to channel for energy. I have achieved two special states from this training. Combat, I can place my mind in an aura calm that increases my magical energy, but leaves me more vulnerable to weapon attacks. Or place it in a state of desperate defiance and increase my health points, but leaves me more vulnerable to magic attacks. Thanks for entrusting me with this knowledge. I can only hope I can find skills of my own to match. There's one thing you should know. A long time ago, I rescued a Serelgion from an Amrath, and she gave me a ring as a reward. That was noble of you and generous of her, but what import is that? Whenever there's danger to anyone in my party, I may instantly pull the party together to better face the danger. That's a powerful gift. Let us hope we do not need it often. That is a pretty powerful gift. Hopefully we don't need it. You don't need that, my man. Oh, tree frog. You don't need that, my man. As the meme goes. We're actually doing pretty decent on tree frogs. We're about to hit 10. That'll give us some extra PP. All right, let's see with this new armor how I do. Oh my God, why did my guy run the other way? Uh, apparently to here's just gonna get mobbed. He's actually got a lot of health. He's taken, taken quite a few hits and not really uh, stressed out about it. I'm gonna need to power up his weapon speed though. Cause look how long it's taken him to attack again. I'm gonna get a second hit off here before. Palm nut potion. How nice is it that we both get PP? I fought many of these creatures on my way here. What are they called? These are called Gretchlings. They rise from the swamps to prey upon anything that moves. We should be wary when walking through water, for they can surprise even the most careful traveler. Spike potion? Okay. I'm actually very happy that they attacked to here, just because he's definitely the more tanky of the boys that we have here. I wasn't even paying attention to how much damage he was taking. I'm not gonna lie, I probably should have been. See if it was worth it to equip that, that hide that I put on. Or if I should have kept the other one that's poison resistance. Another tree frog here. Alright, let's there's right and there's left. Left let's go left first. Because right says there's little indicators that say go that way, so let's go left first. Just in case there's anything up here. Okay, perfect. We attack the same one this time. Eighteen. Oh, you still took eighteen damage. 11. Doesn't seem like that other one gave him a lot a lot of extra defense. I'll probably put on poison resistance here. Oh man, he took some some serious damage too. Let's see. I was taking the same amount of damage it seemed like, and to have the potion, re the poison resist. I'm pretty sure if Jarek dies, I lose. So if Tahir dies, yeah, that sucks. I'm not happy about it. He's not gonna get all that PPP, but I would much rather uh, Jarek. There's another tree frog. Not die, because then I lose. Ye. Dude, I wonder if we share PP. How much 
available PP. Oh no, we don't. That's good. Does he have? Okay, he's got some water fates. Okay. He's also got some healing. It's a tattoo. Gale breathing, or of calm, final defiance. Let's go to Chopin too. Speed is gonna be the the next one that we power up there. For him. I wonder if with collectibles, if I get for the party, or if I only get for one person. Okay, nice. So we attack the same guy. I'm so glad that they keep attacking to here. I wonder if they're attracted to him because because he's like <laughs> natural to the area, or if he's got a like a a tankier like um, what do you call it, like a taunt or whatever. Ooh, a palm nut potion. That's nice. Here's some goats. I see a chest down there. We're not going to pass that up. 100 gold. It's nice. I would have liked a potion or something, but I'll take the 100 gold. 100 gold buys many potions. Especially wither potions, it would buy three. What is this? It's a bunch of big stones in a circle. I can see that, but what's it for? Wow. Nobody knows. We consider it a sacred place. There's some lore about it, but I paid little attention to it. All right, but there's a tree frog, 500 PP. Let's see, do we both get it? 2100, it seemed like it, right? Yeah. I feel like speed is just the way to go. The faster you attack, the more attacks you can get in, the less likely you are to die because you can't use a potion. Does that mean that I have enough to buy something with Jarek? Two-handed sword. Let's do critical hit one. <coughs> It'd be nice to hit, land a critical hit. Oh, there's a scroll over here. Pages from chapter two. Yeah, I feel like the tree frogs are probably harder to find than the silver acorns. Luckily, I don't know if you could put a scroll in the water. I don't know if it would survive. So, canonically, I'm telling the creators of Legend of Alandar, you cannot put any scrolls in the water. So, there better not be any. I don't see any tree frogs on any of these trees so far. There's a squirrel right there. Let's see, just in case we get something for five, he's got um, how much PP available? 400. No, we don't get anything for five. All right, well, it's taking over the cutscene, so I don't think there's any to hear. Ramal, I wish you had been there during the attack. Mahir is dead. Mahir, how can this be? Who attacked us? This is Jarek. He believes it was a monster made to look like an orn that attacked us. The ghost of Mahir appeared us and convinced us that my destiny is intertwined with Jarek's. This is grievous news, Jarek. I am the master of water fates. As to Ghani, to hear us some innate skills in water magic, but like all magic, the orbs required to cast a spell. Take my water orb, for it will help you on your quest. Thank you, Ramir. Please tell me about the spells. Bolts of frozen water stream with ice shards. Water sprites can be forced to call a protected barrier. Wave can project a devastating force at your opponents. Frozen geyser will freeze and damage your enemies in a blast of cold water. As with all spells, the more you grow. All right, well, let's equip to here with that, right? Because he's already got... 
Yeah, there we go. I don't think I'm going to be using the bow a lot, so let's swap it with belt. That's not what I wanted. Swap it with belt. Swap to the inventory. There we go. Sell me a water orb. No, I already have a water orb. I, uh, he gave me one for free. I mean, by the raft for future, should you desire another water orb? Are you sure you want to take the raft to the deep swamps? Yes. Okay, let's move on. They're moving pretty quick in that swamp. They should get one of those airboats that lets you kind of just over everything. There's another scroll over there. Nice. Six to 25. I'm surprised we didn't get something for five. Because it's 25. Be careful, Travers. The path has become more dangerous. Where are you bound? We're heading to Palash. Then follow the totems co closely. Do not stray. You speak to warriors, not trembling merchants. I must speak to the oracle. I need a tree art. Have you seen an amaranth along the way? Curse it, yes, but watch your boats from us. They are exceedingly dangerous, as you should know well. Hey, don't tell me what to think. We're warriors. We're not little babies. Alright, well, they give us a saving point. That probably means it's dangerous, right? <laughs> or we hit a major milestone. Alright, let's save just in case. We don't want to die. We don't want to be that guy. You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. These palm nuts are a lifesaver, too. They're so much easier to find than the wither veins. Alright, two handed sword. Nope. Oh, shoot, I hit the wrong one. Let's find that other one stuck. Oh, you... Alright. Thank goodness. Oh, I, I bled him out? Interesting. Ooh, I'll take that level up too. Make me a fighter. Luckily, that guy got stuck and then it seems like he bled out. So I must have crit critical hit him. That's what I think happened. Does that mean that I have enough to power something up? Two-handed sword. I think damage is coming up next. The oracle lies just east of here. Without a tree heart, it will not speak to me. So we got to go west to the swamps to find an am amaranth. However, we can always go to the oracle and be fully restored. Ooh. Full heal. I do like that. What are we looking at? Uh, Tahir might need a heal. Let's go see the oracle first. There's a tree frog. Nice. Palm nut. Okay, there's three of them. It's okay. One's down. Oh, it automatically retargeted it because he was bleeding. That's nice. Man, so I powered up critical once and I'm already bled out two people in a row. That's pretty sweet. Alright. Maybe we hit that oracle and get a quick little healy heal. 
Granted, he only lost like 30 health there. But still. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this playthrough too. If you guys are liking it, leave a like and subscribe. If not, leave a comment and tell me why, what I could have done better. What what you think would have been better. There's no point going to the record and not speak with me until I bring an Amaranth Oracle. Uh, yeah, you just told me it'll heal us though. Simply touching the Oracle fully heals oneself. That's actually pretty cool. If they had a, a thing like that, I would just build a barricade around this and anytime we're gonna battle, one hand on the Oracle, one hand on my weapon. I guarantee you there's probably something back here. A chest or a collectible or something. Or monsters. Gave him poison. Poison! Poison claw. Wow, his dance is so boastful too. It's just putting his arms out and going like, yeah, that's it. That's me. I did that. That was me. I yep, there's a tree frog. I was going to say, it looked like a tree frog from the distance, but I wasn't sure. 12 out of 30, we're getting there. And there's a the chest I was thinking about. Oh, I don't even know what it was. Oh, we'll get rid of a palm nut. I don't know what I picked up, let's see. Palm nut potion, yeah, that makes sense. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have to run all the way back around. Make sure there ain't nothing here. No more hidden tree frogs. Yeah, I'm thinking the next game I'm gonna do, after I beat Alan Dar here and we finish this series, and after we're done with the Twisted Metal series, uh, Gauntlet Dark Legacy is a strong contender. Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is a uh, strong contender. And Okage Shadow King is also a strong contender. Those three are kind of my next up on the list on what I'm thinking we're going to go with these long plays. If you guys have any suggestions or you guys are interested in any seeing any of those, give me a shout out leave a comment and if not if you guys have another game and I have it or I can easily get a hold of it or I can't get a hold of it let me know I'll play that too don't forget too we also stream on twitch check us out on twitch nostalgic gaming channel it's the same it should be linked in the uh, YouTube so there's a little shameless plug for the day there all right I don't think that I explored this area so thoroughly here because I was going straight to the Oracle. I didn't want to die. I'm comfortable with up to this bridge, yeah. So up to this bridge is good. So let's go to the left now. Actually, cross this bridge here. There's a treasure chest right there. Oh, of course there's monsters hiding right by the chest. They warned me about that. But did I listen? No. Oh, I took a nice block. 49 damage. He's pretty close to being dead from that. Ah, shoot. That's fine. We'll take an extra 17 damage. I might be able to hit him again, maybe. Yeah! We'll lop a potion open inventory, and we'll get rid of a palm nut again. Do we have a... I don't even know if it's worth using one of our wither potions here.
Oh shoot, the treasure chest. That's why I came down here. I almost forgot the thing. All my potion. Nice. I don't know why I can't use... Interesting, I wonder how long that lasts for. Oh, well, I can't do anything. <laughs> oh yeah, I can. I forgot that he has that thing that protects you too. There's a tree frog right there. No, it's not. It's just the uh, red color of the, the little sign. Ooh, 15. Oh, that was actually kind of cool. That was very effective. Hey, maybe that's our new strategy, right? <coughs> There's a tree frog right there, though. <coughs> that was actually super effective. And it bounced in between them. That was... That was nice. I think we're doing a pretty effective job of clearing out the Dagoni Swamp too. It's pretty linear here and it's not. Let's see if that. Okay, I screwed that up. Okay, that fight wasn't nearly as effective. Let's get rid of a palm knot. And we're gonna pop a spike potion for him. No, I don't want a spike potion. Yeah. Let's pop a palm knot too. It does me no good if if I just discard him, right? Like, if I come across these things and I just end up discarding them, it does me absolutely no good. It's not worth any money, and it's not worth any heals. So I might as well use it rather than lose it, especially if my inventory is starting to get full. Here's another frog. Here's another frog. That's sweet. Found two real quick. Zero to 15, real quick. Real, real quick. Palm nut potion and 100 gold. My guy's probably at this point pretty moderately wealthy, right? After exploring for a little bit. Alright, I see a saving point. That's got to mean that we're coming up on the tree man, right? Okay. Let's swap him back to his main weapon here. Let's, let's actually put him on the axe for coming up to that big tree. Palm not. Save just in case. Forty-two, forty-one. Oh, okay, he gives a significant amount of damage with that too. This might be where it's worth it to switch up to that orb of tears. Oh, 
<laughs> I thought it wasn't going to bounce and hit him for a second. I don't know the ice sprites work like that either. That's awesome. And I still have that defensive spell that I haven't even had the ability to use yet. If we could see someone sneaking up on us, like before they attack us. Okay. Let's see if it even lets me go in into this area here. What is this? Swamp bubbles from the gas. Dagani are unharmed by these vapors. I could easily walk through, but you would die. We cannot. But the gas shifts over time. Perhaps if we come back later, the gas will be gone. What's the whole point of giving me a character that specifically said I can walk through these gases, right? I can walk through them. But I can't walk through them. All right, you can't walk through them, so sorry. All right, let's try that. Let's try it. All right, he's stuck here for a second. Let's fight this guy. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna have to pop a potion here for sure, probably. But let's take out a couple of them. Actually, I might be able to just win. Okay, I'll take the 11. 21. Yeah, we got this. That was dangerous. I don't know if my ice sprites actually did anything. Palm that potion. Palm that potion. Palm that potion. There. Much better. I did have to use several palm nut potions, but that's okay. Better safe than sorry. But yeah, like I said, they literally gave me a character that's like, yeah, I can walk through this poison. And all of a sudden, like, they're like, oh no, the swamp gas moves, don't worry about it. That's poor game design right there. I get they want to have like a, a way to block you because that's not the way. Oh, I found a journal. That's not the way you're supposed to go, but there's so much better ways to do it than, hey, just come back later. All right, where, where's our guy at here? Oh, there's, okay, good. At least we, I think we're gonna hit the same one. Yeah, perfect. We always want to make sure we're hitting the same one just because we can kill him so much faster. Ah, oh, shoot, son of a gun. Sorry. We're gonna kill that one. To here, we'll kill the other one here in a second. And then, oh, he didn't kill it. Ouch. This is getting dangerous. I didn't suspect that he would be able to kill it, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. 73. How many palm nut potions do I still have? Well, I still have quite a few of them. Alright, let's equip. Oh, and I still have quite a few wither potions. Equipped. Equip. Use these wither potions on me. Use a palm nut on you. Oops. Wither on you. There we go. That should be sufficient, right? Here's a tree frog. 16. Alright, there's some more of those sacred stones. Nobody knows what they're for. There's gotta be something on them, right? There's gotta be a tree frog or 
or something maybe doesn't look like it wow interesting they don't even give you a little boon or anything looks like there's one of those evil trees right there oh, I should use the axe Oh, that's a lot of damage. Let's use our axe here. I don't want that. I want palm nut. No, I want palm nut potion. Oh, he disrupted him. That's not good. Because he was giving so much more damage. I wonder if I could sunder him. Maybe I sunder him again. And again. That one didn't work. Yeah, see these trees are super dangerous. Uh, we gotta finish him here, right? Oh, thank goodness. That was a rough battle. And we didn't even get a... We only got 200 from that? Okay, we got a tree heart, thank goodness. We have the Amaranth's heart. Let's find the Oracle of yours. Okay. Palm nut. Well, that was a super dangerous fight. Those trees are no joke. Alright, I think if we run back to the Oracle... This is dangerous. I shouldn't be coming over here. Because I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going to have to go later, right? So, I'll come back. I'll come back. We're going to go over and heal at the Oracle. And turn in the quest. Oh, there's a treasure chest down here. Have I already got it? Spike potion. Just in case monsters have respawned, we don't want to die. So I'm going to save here. All right, let's uh, hit that oracle, turn in what we need to, get a vision quest, and then I think we'll call it for this video, this episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Oh, there's a little dragon there. The only other time we've seen a dragon like that is when, at the beginning when we saw the girl. That was the, uh, the uh, I don't remember what she was called, the Dagger oracle of Virtue. Of the Dagani. I have brought the offering according to the laws of my ancestors. Grant me your wisdom. Hear the voice of the Oracle. You, Jarek, seek the origin of the Changelings and the meaning of the sigil upon your hand. Yes, I must find these answers. Can you help me? They are one with the evil that overtakes every part of this world. To find the answer to all that you seek, you must journey to the tombs of the four great heroes of legend. Charak of the Dagani, Sonra of the Kamaras, 
the tail of the Sarojan and from our nine fingers of the Orin. In each tomb, you will find a piece of the puzzle you must unravel. How will this help me fulfill my quest? These heroes held within their grasp the power of the Eternal Blade. Yet each was cursed with a fatal flaw which led to their deaths. Thus, the Eternal Blade was lost. Only the Eternal Blade can win against the growing evil. But how do I find these two? Travel beyond Lashon in Palash, and there you will find a roving tree that long ago ate an unlucky Sarojan mage. In this tree's heart, you will find a powerful token the mage carried. A jade scarab. The scarab will set you upon the path of discovery and change. But he's only an Oren. I'm the Dagani here. You're my oracle. Tell me where to find my brother's chiller. Your fate is entwined with that of the Eternal Blade. Remember the chant of Charak. What is this chant? Mahir is the one who loved to learn the epic tales and chants. I never paid attention. <laughs> if we could find a way for his ghost to speak to us, he could tell us. First, we must retrieve the Jade Scarab and see where that will lead us. I will follow as I have sworn. But do not forget your vow to me to find this Grandar. I will not forget, Tahir. Okay, we're fully healed. The Oracle had so much to tell, so I don't hope I can remember it all. Luckily, you're with the Dagani. Since we do not trust writing, we rely on our memory to learn our history, laws, and tale. Except the Chan of Chirac. Yes, you need to rub it in. I remember the Oracle's words clearly. Find the tombs of the four heroes. Chirac, Dromar, Zarnar, and Whiptail. I met a Dagani storyteller who said Whiptail tomb lined under the spire of suspicion in Palash. But first, we must find another Amrath to kill. Yes, to get the Jade Scarab. The Oracle said it was beyond... Lashan and Palash. We should head to Palash and rip apart any Amaranth that we see along the way. You can never say we lack our teamwork. Yeah, so I was about to bring that up. Is uh, As soon as we got here, that storyteller in the last episode reminded us, or told us about Whiptail and how he died in the Spire of Solitude because he didn't trust anyone, which was his fatal flaw. How the plot thickens. Ooh, there's a Sarojan here. Please, will you help me? We already have much to do. There is always time to help someone in need. I am Jarek, and my impatient friend here is Tahir, who asks for our help. I wish I could tell you. I cannot remember anything. Neither my name, nor where I am from, nor why I am here. Someone has cast a spell of forgetfulness upon me. Who would do this to you? Another Sarojan? I I think it must be so. I sense I had an urgent mission, a matter of life and death, but I can no longer recall what it was. You're not far from Lashon in your own land of Palash. Why not go there? I dare not. My unknown enemy could lie in wait for me there. Without my memory, I am helpless. I beg you to bring me a cure for this spell. Remain here. We will do what we can. This Lushan is a large trading center? Large enough. We may well find a cure there. May the sacred reed bless you both. I will scarcely breathe until you return. Alright, so we got it now. We got a new quest. Now we gotta find something to to bring her memory back. So let's see. The added to her quest log. No. Find a cure for the lost erosion. Okay. Oh, now it's nighttime. It's spooky. Is that another green monster? It's a Gretchling right there, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have used the axe.
chop in two. I can't believe that tree only gave us 200 PP. When these guys give us 100 and I almost one tap them. Alright, so let's save and let's call it for this episode here. Since we've slayed the tree, got the oracle, and now we know where to go. we got a couple more quests, so... Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys on the next one.